Hi guys, welcome to my channel. We're doing your you and the other person for the Capricorn. This is the October 30th, Monday, all the way to the Sunday. No, I didn't go younger. Yes, I did. <laughs> I know, I look weird with this hat, I think. It's a, it's not a hair day today, so deal with it. Oh, yeah. Anyway, guys, let's see what's going on for you and the other person. More of the central issue and um, their blockages in our extended reading. And welcome, by the way, Cappies, to the new set. <laughs> let's see what's going on. Happy Halloween. Let's see here. This is you, Capricorn. I hope you, um, we're working on the lights. Ooh, love it. Capricorn, Nine of Pentacles. Strong, independent. Let's get some more of that here, okay? Um, Capricorn, you can be connecting with another earth sign or whoever you're with at the same time shows strong independence, okay? Um, we can be independent in all different forms, okay? So that's what I, I need you to understand also. Feelings, some people are independent in their feelings, with their finances, uh, you know, or just being as a grown-up by itself, mature and stuff like that. So that's the good energy of the Nine of Pentacles. And it manifests earthly, meaning it's real as it gets, okay? With you right now or this person. And then you have here um, Queen of Wands. So this is, I believe, a Leo energy. Or another fire sign, Sagittarius or Aries. So if this is the person that you're connecting with, one, they're very much good looking. Feminine energy wise, this is like, you know, for me, all all the feminine energy can be equated to becoming a seductress in all different form. There with their looks, passion, and desire. So this is the person when you kiss this person, Capricorn, you are gonna be like, ooh, okay? Because with the Queen of Cups, if you talk to them emotionally, you're gonna be like, ooh. Okay, so that's what you're having with this person. The woo factor. I don't know where I get my expression. <laughs> I don't know. But that's what you're having right now, Capricorn. Amazing, amazing, amazing. And then, of course, after amazing, you just I just have to jinx it with the Five of Cups, right? <laughs> this is how real it gets. Good, bad, good, bad. That's a tarot. Duality, okay? So Five of Cups over here is like you could be probably longing or this person is still longing of the past. We've all heard about that. But I'm sensing here this person needs some cuddling, needs some touch, needs some tenderness, Capricorn. Because for them, um, yes, they may be looking for from uh, to, uh, you know back in their past, but they need some sort of comfort. They're not resisting attention. They're Debbie Downer. They need to be lifted up. Okay, and if you are the confident person here, who also is desirable, I must say, you have the ability to help this person. Tender, loving, gentle, just like a Johnson baby powder. Okay, <laughs> so the other person, mm -hmm, there you go. The other person has the death card. I'm sorry for the glare, we're working on that. Um, death card, sudden shift of energy, person is experiencing something, growth experiencing a new beginning they have to surrender their real self in order to begin um of course this is like a king who has fallen so can be a leo who is now not a king anymore I'm just saying meaning they have to restructure themselves death card comes because it's a cycle where um how to say this a cycle of you know like for them things has ended and i think you're the one bringing this end to you or they're bringing um they're bringing it to you or vice versa okay and then you have, I just said Queen of Cups, and then next to the Queen of Wands is the Queen of Cups, guys. <laughs> okay, so this person, Capricorn, if you're on their side here, they got the woo factor. Meaning when, when you talk to this person with your emotions and feelings, okay, they like that. They like the caring, the caring na uh, nature of you, or, you know, you're like, you like the caring nature with them. This is love, though. This is... The Queen of Cups is love. The Queen of Wands is passion. Okay, good, good, good. Um, how to call that? Um, recipe to have something. Uh, how to say? It? To grow into something new, which is a Death card over here. Very good. That's good again. I swear, if I say it, it comes out weird. Oh, and then you have King of Wands over here. Strong fire energy again. Capricorn, you have your now, the left foot and the right foot, as, as I call it. Once those uh, two card cards comes out, it means you are where you're supposed to be with the person that you're connecting with right now. 
Let's not believe in the forever. Let's say what is right now. It's fine. You are where you're supposed to be. A person who is creative. A person who is, um, how to say this? A lot of people like this person. And they always, they can also bring big groups with them. They travel. They like to, they like to be on top of their game, basically. Whatever they do, they need to excel. They're driven, okay? This is uh, the person. This person is driven by love right now, driven by change. They have already changed from, from the death card. They reacted well, Capricorn. Very good energy. Fire sign with water in their chart. Central issue. The Leo card. I just said the Leo. I swear, guys. I swear. <laughs> I said there's a Leo with the Scorpio energy. Because the king is fallen. The Leo is not there. Now, central issue over here. I'm freaking out. Um, is that things has been overcome. Um, your confidence here with the Nine of Pentacles in the relationship with the connection is bringing change and overcoming a lot of things that is difficult. The death card is has been overcome also. The, the, the whole shifting part of how they can be a new person, it's done, it's over. It's just time now to keep moving, putting more action, courage, compassion at the same time with the strength card. Okay? This is a soulmate card. Alright? So I'm going to continue this amazing reading, Capricorn. More of the central issue and their blockages and as well as the guides. Thank you very much, guys, for watching.